Good afternoon guys, welcome back to another video today. Uh, we're starting with a new series on South Park, The Stick of Truth. Now I've tried to record this twice. Uh, the first time I forgot to record the video, the second time I forgot to record the audio. So I'm pretty sure I've got everything recorded now. So I'm just going to start this this straight off, yes. Um, this game is a game I've wanted to play for quite a while and I haven't played it now a couple of times. It's so good. Like it's absolutely phenomenal of how well the guys at South Park have done and the game developers. It's just absolutely brilliant. Very, very good. Lornia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them. A noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. He gets a piss take of, I think, Oh my god, I've lost my... That's literally lost my train of thought, I'm watching this. The drow elf armies continue their attack. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the stick of truth. But the tides of war seem to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the drow elves can manipulate his man, and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Right, so you start off in the, this game by creating a, a character. Now I'm just going with the most idiotic character I can. I like that. We'll give him. Let's give him that hair. With. You know what? I didn't know there was a secondary. I like actually like it with the blonde. Now I was hoping in the first that I could get a, a an outfit that was like Kenny's, but you can't actually do that, which is pretty poo. I mean that that looks like stands. I mean that's as close to Kenny's as you're probably gonna get. Cause I mean who doesn't love Kenny in South Park? Kenny's the the best. Well, he's not. He's he's one of the better characters, but. Cartman's definitely the best. Cartman's just a fucking absolute idiot. Absolute idiot. Let's make him look worried. <laughs> like tweak. Uh, I think that's a Scott Hennerman. Uh, Cartman. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with plain face. Uh, no glasses. Let's go. So I've been really enjoying the game, like the first episode that I recorded I played I think for about 25 minutes just getting used to the buttons etc so it was a nice way to get into it but it was a bit devastating they've lost all of the um, the video. I'm just going to skip this, The cut, this cutscene is just introducing who you are and your parents. Uh, there's some stuff like lying around here you can take, take I think, this is like your inventory, oh, yeah just junk crap. But um. Basically, you just have to leave and meet some friends. You can do this, which is pretty cool. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Booyah. And you can take it. And whenever you're in fighting against other people, you can throw it at them, which is pretty fucking awesome. I haven't had a chance to throw the poo at people yet, but... We'll see what happens. Fuck you, ma'am. You are this close to a time Yeah, go for it. Time out. No, no. Time out. Yeah. Thought so, bitch. The fork. Let's take the cash. And I think that's really all that there is in here. You can hit your dad if you want, asshole. That's enough. Asshole. I don't like you dead. <clears throat> so this game is like I, I've compared it a couple of times to the, an actual episode of the TV series, which is it's so cool. It just really feeds, feeds like that. Bitch. Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm gonna tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a Sorry. But my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. So we got a new friend in Butters. Yeah, as I was saying there before, Butters really interrupted me. Um. Uh, the wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse. It feels like an episode 
of the TV series. It feels like something that you would see inside of the like the TV series would have in it. But it's it's completely game based and it's so fun. Like it's just a great little game. The combat sequences are absolutely immense. I only had a chance to play a few of the, the battles, but fight sequences. But yeah. Your coming was foretold by a Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. <laughs> nah. He sounds Irish when he says that. Here, man. Go and get us some chicken from the shop, man. And don't forget to grab us some cigs. Huh? Oh, I wait on you, buggy. Sorry. <laughs> I got distracted there. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? <laughs> Shut up, Mom. Not now. Yeah. Fuck you, better. Sorry, I had no idea what I was doing there. Uh, God almighty. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Koopa Keep. I'm trying to think of what that's a reference to. The amount of references to, to other games, Our other series, TV series, etc. in this is just Here you can see it's our crazy. Overseen by the level nine ranger, Scott Mackington. Who has the power of diabetes. And Scott Mackington. And here, of course, <laughs> Is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the mm. fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. <laughs> Kenny is a fucking creep. <laughs> I think you talked to him? Yeah, you talked to him. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. This is very clever from the game developers. I like this. The first time I did this, I was like, Cartman is a fat piece. Oh. You're a fat piece. Piece of. No. Basically, you can't really put. No matter what you put in, you can literally put in cock or. Balls or penis, <laughs> ass. I'll, I'll put in a real original Irish thing. Earth hole. Up in the earth hole. I think that's. You bag, yes. Is, are you sure you want to keep the name douchebag? <laughs> no matter what you do, you're being called douchebag. Uh, fuck you, Cartman. A mage is like a wizard, only a white thief? Never heard of one, but interesting. Um, so I guess we'll never really be friends. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. A mage is like a wizard, only not as I'm gonna go with the mage this night. I went with the, the fighter in the first one, and I went with thief, and I didn't really enjoy them. So let's see what this is like. Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon, and we shall teach you to fight. Plus I like magic. Hey, where the hell you go? Would you like to see my wares weary? Yes. Perhaps you would like... Consumables, no weapons. Magic wand. Yeah, let's just go with a wand. Ah, a lovely purchase. Like, Cartman, shh. Good, now how about you equip your weapon and... Shut up, Cartman. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up that. What? Kick that. <laughs> what I do. I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. I don't know, like, I, there's something about the art style in this I that is just ass. so you have to your turn. very I good. I, it's like it's, time. it's, it's, it's just turn. excellent. The, the art style is incredible. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. Okay, All right, Carmen, come back. Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. Critical hit. Block me. Okay, let's see. Dick. Oh, shit, I forgot that. I thought I was going to be casting spells on him. This is a bit crap. Oh my god, it's butters all over again. Okay, look. Try putting your back into it at the last okay. possible moment. Okay. Let's see. Ah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, Clyde, <laughs> bitch. He is my bitch. Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. If I hit anybody with that little twig, it break. Ah. Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bow. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, touch the bow. Come on, then. Let's go, Clyde. Oh, shit. No, no, I said protect. Protect. 
There we are. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, you're already way better than Clyde. Okay. Let's see All what's right. the next one. Time to use your okay, let's power. see what this one is. Using your ability takes power points or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them than fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. What's PP from? I'm the king and I say it's PP. PP is something else. Use, back, use your mage ability to make Clyde pay for Fuck. the king. Dragon breath. Holy fucking hell! <laughs> I just attacked him with a fucking firework! That's holy fuck! Jesus Christ, he's a fucking fire! Oh my word! I dodged that. You dodged what? I just attacked him with a fucking fire. That's absolutely beat. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> Absolutely excellent. That was awesome. You were all like, "Me!" The cloud was all like, "Nah, nah." <laughs> okay, okay. You prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent, and I shall let you see the medic. Victory. That's absolutely crazy. I'm really. I like this class, mostly because it's fucking hilarious. Reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. Fuck me, attack kids Medical. with fireworks. Human and elf are willing to die. I can understand why this game is for eighteens only. The curse words aren't really a concern, but. Just two days ago, we took. That's crazy. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the. Okay, earth. Cartman, come on. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five for the first week, four dollars of which is tax deductible. Hello? Oh no, Hello? the game froze. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just skip that. I don't know what happened there. Right, let's get out here and Fuck you, and uh, get it. Clyde, do God this. Of truth while we defend the fortress. Aye, 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 aye. We're not playing pirates, Clyde. Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs. Oh, you want some of this? Uh. God damn it. Butters, oh, yeah. but it's I'm hitting Scott Tenderman. Do it, there we go. Right, let's see here. He's blocking. I'm gonna take out the elf here. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Jesus. Right. Let's go for a potion. As far as more, you can use a potion and like. Well, if this job doesn't work out, at least you've got a future as a training dummy. Come on, get it right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counter. What? Right I got it right. We can help this. Kick the shit out of him. He's back. You let him get him. Come on, let's try again. No. Damn it. I don't know what's going on with the game here. Damn it. Ah, you kicked his helpless ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of the wizard king. There we go. He <laughs> shoved it in his ass. Right. I'm gonna beat this kid. He's dead. One hit. Okay then. And he's dead. Wow, this this class is actually pretty sweet. Yeah, kill it all these kids. Hey, watch your mouth, butters. Oh shit! That guy's standing there. Go kick his ass. Perfect. <laughs> oh man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. You need to try a different tactic Most to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mist. Yes. Bo. Hurry up! Douchebag, use your arrows! Take out the archer! Do what I say or you can't play anymore! Yeah, bitch, that's what 
you get for fucking with the Wizard King. Okay. I don't want to play anymore. Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows <laughs> now. You gotta try something else. Okay, let's go with my wand. There we go. Sorry, I got a little bit quiet there because I was trying to concentrate on what I was actually doing. Let's take all that. There's one more over here somewhere. Yeah. There we go. This guy comes in here with a, yeah, there he is. Hammer and fucking nail board. That's that's crazy. Yes, Cartman. Sweet. You'll pay for that. That's it. Now finish him. There we go. Oh shit. Hit the wrong button. Damn it. Oh, nearly. Oh, what? Oh, right, he's got a bicycle helmet. That's what the problem is. There we go. Now they run off like little pussies. I've watched that three yeah. times and it's still fun as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I've got itchy bears. <sighs> oh fuck. Oops. I just knocked the table with my knee. Our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! Fighters, go with him. Yes, I'm minding the shot now. You need any weapons or armor? Here's what we're selling. Okay, guys, I'm actually gonna. I'm just gonna buy a couple of the um, bits and pieces, and then I'm going to. Um, Good choice. I'm gonna end the episode there. Ah. Uh, a nice purchase. Um, I, I'm gonna continue. Oh, nice. Clyde's helmet. I don't know if that gives me anything, but whatever. Uh, there. <laughs> 50 sauces. Celtic battle armor. I actually really like that hair. It's actually pretty nice. Anyway. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I just really wanted to get this one over and done with so I could actually start on the next, the next episode and really get into the game. Um, which is going to involve looking for Craig, Token, and Tweak. Uh, as far as I know, they're here on the map, so it's—I mean—it's not too difficult to get to them. It's just a lengthier process. Process. I don't yet know how to read the messages from people because, from what I see, I have a, I have a message in the top right-hand corner, and I really—I have no idea. I don't know idea how to read them. Can I put that on? I can't actually put that on. Yay! Got a helmet. Shattered arrow. These are obviously just things you can trade. Some more potions. Um, the game. This game is absolutely incredible. Like it's such. It's it's so well done. It's it's really. It's a really interesting game, and I, I'm really looking forward to getting the next bits and pieces done, to the next missions, etc. Because I'm a huge fan of South Park, um, and love the TV series so it was just natural that this game was eventually going to be be played I mean it was it's such a good good game and I've always loved the South Park games they used to have 
there was like, I remember the rally one, South Park rally, or South, South Park rally on the PlayStation One. Like I spent days trying to finish that game. Like it was so so good. It was very frustrating because it was difficult races in it. There was a couple of the other ones that I played as well on the PlayStation Two and the PlayStation. I think there was, was there one on the PSP? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and if you liked the video, feel free to hit the like button. But until the next video, guys, I'll see you. Cheerio.